What's up guys, Edmeo? Welcome to another AC Milan career mode. It's been a while since a Milan career mode, but this is episode number 59 and it's season number five. We're going to be focusing solely on some big Serie A games, Champions League main priority. We're going to try to maybe beat Real Madrid's record of Champions Leagues and just this series is going to go on until, you know, I get fed up of it or you guys get fed up of it. But there are some transfers that I would maybe like to do and see if we can get them. If not, I think our squad is just perfectly fine. But I'm going to try to splash the cash this season, maybe pick up a massive player that hopefully you guys will like. And he's literally right there. It's Kylian Mbappe and we do have a lot of money to spend this season already 265 million on transfer budget 339k on our wage budget so let's go ahead straight away and offer for Mbappe he is a right winger I don't want to replace Suzo but obviously you know Suzo he's getting a little bit up there with age I think he's 28 but still going to be a vital player maybe we could sign the light maybe Rabio and there is Daniele Serena this is Gianluigi Buffon's region maybe we can offer you know our youth academy goalkeeper try to get buffon's regen Th that could be a cool thing to do he's already 21 years old and 83 overall already at this age but nevertheless let's go ahead and offer for mbappe probably one of the best players in the game right now 94 overall let's go ahead and approach the buy we're gonna start off with 160 million euros for mbappe and they want 255 million 255 million that is absolutely ridiculous but we have the money let's try 225 see if we can get him 25 million less and they're gonna take some time and think about this we'll take your offer under consideration there it is 225.1 million for Mbappe has been accepted. Now let's go ahead and negotiate a contract with him. Uh, I saw a few, well, a lot of people have been saying try and get one of the best players in the world, Mbappe. So that's why I'm doing it. It's for you guys. It's five seasons in. The realistic aspect, I guess, is maybe thrown out of the equation, but still players that have been here from the start are still here. Four years, crucial. Let's accept that uh, release clause, let's just disregard the release clause, they're okay with that, they want 250k on wages, a signing bonus of 2.6 million, and if he scores 25 goals, we have to pay him 12.6 million, I'm alright with that, let's go ahead and splash the cash on Mbappe, 94 overall, 23 years old, he was pictured in a Milan kit when he was a young kid, and now his dream of maybe playing for Milan has come true, Mbappe is the first signing of the new season, five 225 million massive player to sign after signing mbappe there's been an offer for suzo suzo i really do love suzo and liverpool offers 78.2 million i think if maybe i try to get a little more and he does end up selling some people will be like why'd you sell him i still really do like him he was crucial throughout these four seasons so i'm gonna keep him rotate with mbappe and all that don't worry everybody's going to get their fair share of game time because I'm going to be testing out a new formation. Hopefully it works. It's a lot more offensive. So maybe we will get exposed at the back. But it's a 4-2-4. I think that could work. Jesus could play as a left winger. I don't see why not. Quick, skillful, and just amazing. Ricci, Cutrone, Suzo, Mbappe, all those players. Maybe we could look to get a new midfielder or play Barella. Kessier is still there. Savage still there. Backline, fantastic. Donnarumma and goal. We're pushing for another Champions League. Real Madrid have come and offer for Memphis. The is on the transfer list worth 46 million. They're offering 44 million for him. Let's go ahead and accept this. We've got another transfer offer for Depay and one for Paredes. Paredes is a player that, you know, was vital last season. Still 87 overall. Could be fantastic. Fantastic, still in that midfield. This one's from Manchester City. Let's just go ahead and reject this. Got a loan offer for one of our Youth Academy players that I promoted. It's Yves Soto. Let's go ahead and accept this. And the transfer negotiations between Depay and Real Madrid have broken down. They couldn't reach agreeable terms. So hopefully, he'll be going to Chelsea instead. Loan offer for Fabio Moretti. This is a player that I'm definitely not going to use this season. He's a Youth Academy player. I would like to start using a lot more, but... His overall is just not up there. Moretti's loan move has been rejected. I thought they fixed the loan moving glitch or whatever, but uh, hopefully they'll get some more offers. The pie has been sold to Chelsea. Marquinhos, there's an offer for him, but Marquinhos 
Fido player. He's 28, so he's getting up there with age. Let's just go ahead and reject that now. There's been a glitch ever since the new patch. Hopefully, it doesn't affect an existing save that the player's overalls do go down when, you know, a new month is there. Mattia Guidi is a Youth Academy player that I promoted. He was on loan. Let's go take a look and see if some of the overalls did go down or does it only affect uh, when you start a new career mode. Okay, so the players are increasing. None of the players are decreasing, so... Uh, I, I guess that's good, but EA really need to fix that. Transfer offer for Chalanolu. Uh, he hasn't been used that much in real life. He's been struggling. Barcelona have offered 30.7 million to buy him. Let's just go ahead and accept that. Hopefully, he'll be going to Barcelona. It'll free up some money and wages, and maybe we can look to maybe getting another massive player, but I just don't see what type of player I would actually try and pick up. Kingdom's move has been rejected. I don't know why that keeps happening. Like I said, I thought they fixed it. Another transfer offer for Chalanolu, this time from Spurs, 34 million. Let's go ahead and accept that. So we have two pretty big matches coming up in a few days, and then we start the Serie A. So yeah, there's going to be three played games in this episode. We have Juve at home in the Supercoppa. We have Arsenal in the UEFA Super Cup. First time we're playing in it. Champions League victors versus the Europa League victors, and then Juve to start off the season. So it is still going to be an exciting season to play. Let's get into this match in the Supercoppa against Juve. But well, here's our starting 11. We're actually playing at the San Siro, so I guess that makes us the home team. Plizzari, Calabria, Caldara, Romagnoli, Hernandez, Barella, Savic, Mbappe, Cutrone, Ricci, and Gabriel Jesus. Massive front four, incredible back line, even though there is some rotation and just a fantastic team overall. Let's take on Juve for the Supercoppa. There he is, Mr. 225 million. Is that the biggest transfer in history? I think it might be. We're taking on Juve we've bested them a few times in the past few seasons it's been a while since i played fifa here on the ps4 i don't know if it's different than the pc version that i started a new career with well let's see what happens here in the supercoppa savage hernandez great ball to jesus jesus into the middle to ricci ricci oh that would have been fantastic this one's whipped in ricci is there jesus can he do so oh Plizzari. Great shot, and a good save again by Plizzari. Ball, Savic, Ricci, Cutrone, Cutrone, Ricci is away. Here's Alberto Ricci, Alberto Ricci just outside. Alberto Ricci scores the first goal of the new season in the Supercoppa. 1-0 up. Dari, Pape, good ball, Barella, Calabria, Calabria, that's a ball to Mbappe. Pape, see if he can whip in across. Ricci's there. Cutrone is on the doorstep. The save by Chesney. Jesus takes it. That's in the back of the net. It was blocked by the defender, and Jesus was there to clean that one up. That's the first half of the Supercoppa. 2 0 up. Just started how we finished. 45 minutes left. All right, so I don't know if you notice here, but some of the players in game have dropped by overall, and I think have dropped by some stats. That's what I was talking about before. It doesn't show in the screen, but it happens in game. Please, EA, if you like, I know you guys don't care about career mode, but please fix this, man. Jesus, Romagnoli, Varela, ball to Cutrone. Cutrone is in some space. Cutro oh, Cutrone smashes off the post and he gets his own rebound. Chesney dove. Defender was down. Cutrone there to pick up the pieces of his own shot. And it's 3-0. All right, Cutrone is going to come off. He's going to be replaced by Suso. I'm also going to be taking off Jesus, bringing on Chiesa. And Pape moving as a uh, striker. And Ricci is going to be coming on to replace Alessio Romagnoli. And that's the end of the Supercoppa. It's a 3-0 victory. Ricci, Jesus and Cutrone scored and Mbappe was not on the score sheet 225 million don't worry he's gonna settle into this club and that is another piece of silverware for us Caldara gonna be lifting it now we do have the UEFA Super Cup coming up in a few days so Chalanolu's move to Spurs is broken down because he has joined FC Barcelona so Chalanolu is off the books and now we are taking Arsenal on UEFA Super Cup in two days, so a few of our players are going to be a little bit tired. Here's how the lineup's looking. Donnarumma, Calabria, Marquinhos, Romagnoli, Hernandez, Kese, Pardes, Suso, Mbappe gonna be starting, Cutrone, and Jesus. And look who it is. It's Mattia De Chilio. Mattia De Chilio has made his way from Milan to Juve, and now he's at Arsenal. Get ready to lose De Chilio. You suck. I really do like the graphics here of the UEFA Super Cup. We've never played in this. We just 
won the Champions League. So, uh, yeah, we should be beating Arsenal here. They won the Europa League. Still a Europa League team in this game. They definitely are going to be in the Champions League this season. Let's see what we can do here. Mbappe starting at striker. Maybe that's more of a fit for him. Kessie just straight into Torreya. Good speed and play by Mbappe. Tuzo. A good play by Suzo. Suzo's going to hit this one. Suzo just wide. Cutrone. Here's Cutrone. Players on him. A lot of pressure from Arsenal. Here's Mbappe. Mbappe, good play. He can play Cutrone. Cutrone, let's see if we can return the favor. There's Mbappe in the box. Mbappe gets his first goal. Patience by Cutrone and the ball through one or two players. And there's Kylian Mbappe, the 225 million euro man. And one thing I just thought of, we actually do have the number eight on our shirt sleeves for eight Champions Leagues. I really like that they added that. I'm gonna take this one. Here's Paredes. Paredes hits it. Paredes, Leno, the save. Gijo clear it, and that's gonna be the end of the first half. We're 1-0 up. Goal scored by Kylian Mbappe. 45 minutes left. Maybe extra time and penalties if needed. Let's see what happens. Correa. Ozil. Here's El Neni. Torreya, that's a great strike by Torreya. 49th minute, Arsenal back in this one. They just like to put constant pressure on us. And Torreya is going to go ahead and hug Unai Emery for the celebration. It's 1-1. Calabria has played into the middle to Paredes. Good ball, Paredes, Cutrone. That's a ball to Mbappe. Mbappe around the light. That's a ball. Good. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I don't even know what I'm saying. Jesus is there. To ah, come on. <laughs> that one smashes off the post. Here's Welbeck. Hopefully he doesn't dive in the box and gets another penalty like last year in the Europa League. And uh, okay, that could happen too. Donnarumma could be beat at the near post. And it's 2-1 for Arsenal. Can't believe we're going to lose the Super Cup to Arsenal. I hate this team. I actually hate English teams in this game. I feel like they just overpower English teams in this game. So you have to rage. Arsenal picks up the victory. It's the Super Cup whatever i would have loved to have won it there's always next year if we do win the champions league again and to end off this episode we have a big game against juve to start off the season they just signed kurt zuma he was there when we played them in the supercoppa let's see if we can beat them once again here's the lineup for the first match of the season donnarumma calabria marquinhos romagnol hernandez kese savage mbappe cutrone ricci and jesus i realized maybe they weren't performing as i hoped they would on the wings because the instructions weren't there so Jesus cut inside get in behind and Mbappe the exact same thing so they're gonna make more central runs and hopefully we can pick them out it's Juve let's see if we can beat them by more than three goals like we did last time now I haven't checked if Cristiano Ronaldo has retired or Messi has retired maybe I could take a look if they have and see if we can maybe sign their regent if we could if they're you know good enough because the Zlatan Ibrahimovic regent just not a good player at all so that's why i passed up on signing him so let me know if you'd like me to maybe sign messi and ronaldo's region another juve corner two of them already in this match that's whipped in the ball at the near post come on guys and he's there for a free header emery chan is there for a free header donnarumma didn't grab it nobody cleared it away or down one nil to juve he plays ricci 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 still on it what can Ricci do? He has players on him. Alberto Ricci. He's going to hit this one from outside. Alberto Ricci. Pretty much a similar goal to the one he scored in the World Cup against France. And that is Ricci going to be drawing the game level outside the box. He's magic. Cutrone. Can he find Kylian? That's a ball. Mbappe. Good play by Mbappe. He's going to hit this one. Mbappe. Hey. Not his good foot. That one smashes off the bar. Jesus to pick up. Jesus has options in the middle. He's going to cross. Trippier with a good block. Mbappe could have scored himself a fantastic goal. Let's whip this one in. That's Mbappe taking the corner. There's Ricci. Chesney. We make a save. Mbappe once again. I, I don't know if it should be him taking it. But he whips in. And Bentancur is going to clear it away. And that is going to be the end of the first half. 1-1. Goal scored by Ricci. And Juve's goal was scored by Emre Can. All right, substitution. Let's take off Ricci. Going to be moving to a 4-3-3. Barella is going to be coming on to replace Ricci. And we're also going to be taking off. Let's just take off Marquinhos. Bring on the other Ricci, uh, Lorenzo Ricci. And let's see what we can do here with half an hour left. Yes, yeah. Barella. Cutrone. Cutrone and Mbappe. Mbappe, great play by Mbappe. Gets around Mbappe in the box. Mbappe! What a goal by Kylian Mbappe. The skill was phenomenal. 
through the defender. And that is a lovely finish. It's 2-1. Look at this. Mbappe. Oh my goodness. Did he just nutmeg that defender? Let's take a look at this. Mbappe. The skill. No. No. Mbappe just nutmeg the defender. Cuts around the other one. And then... Oh, what a goal by Mbappe. I gotta look at that one in real time. I gotta look at that one in real time. I'm sorry. Putrone, the ball. M oh, Mbappe. What a goal. What a goal, it's 2-1. No, oh, come on. The ball just always bounces in their favor. We score a lovely goal like that, and then Juve just comes back. What an annoying team. Take a look at this. The ball, oh, how does it just always bounces in their favor? Donnarumma has to do better than that. Manu Trigueros is going to be scoring. Still a lot of time. Maybe we can get a winner soon. Let's see if we can get it right here. Cutrone is just outside. He's going to bob and weave outside. Cutrone shot the save by Chesney. He scored from there time and time again. Let's see if Mbappe can play this one in. I don't really want him to take the corners anymore. That's going to be a draw to start the season. Juve, such a frustrating team. We destroyed them 3-0 last time. And this time, it felt like a completely different game. Honestly, there's really nothing much that you can do. We scored a fantastic goal, so I guess I'm happy about that. Mbappe on the score sheet, Ricci on the score sheet. 2-2 draw to start the season. All right, so here's where you guys need to let me know how I'm going to proceed in this season. I was thinking of just calendar simulating up until we do have a big game, but then that could lead to some injuries, players just not performing well. I think what I'll do is just play the games off camera and then give you a report of how we're doing. Maybe I could show you a few highlights here and there. I think that could be a good idea, but just let me know. Would you guys rather I calendar sim, sim every single match and then play the big one? and obviously the Champions League until we have a big game or play them on my own time and then just show you some highlights if I do have some. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, episode number 59, season 5. I'm glad you guys are hopefully happy that it's back, the Milan career mode, and I will see you next time.